Hey everybody, RedsFan1979 back here with a special baseball card video. Uh, in one of my last videos, I mentioned to you guys that I kind of have my shelves complete. I've added a couple of new things since then. So uh, this is my man cave corner, I guess, as you uh, call it. I've got my uh, Joey Votto wall, uh, my shadow box, I guess you call it, or case there of cards. I've got my reds thing in the window, I've got my card shelves, and then down below here I kind of have a variety of a couple of sets and then a, a Cincinnati program that a friend got me. So let's go check this out. Uh, this has been updated since the last time you guys have seen this. So we're gonna start here top shelf with a 19, or excuse me, a 2008 Topps Joey Votto base rookie gem 9.5. Uh, 2008 Upper Deck, Joey Votto, Rookie, Gem 9.5. We've got a really nice autographed baseball here. Probably the nicest one I have. Uh, very cool. Signed on the sweet spot. Uh, we've got uh, one of my favorite cards, the 2016 uh, Joey Votto Topps Dynasty. Uh, that one is numbered out of five. Uh, pretty sweet. Uh, another one of my favorite cards, the Gem 9.5 of the 2002 Bowman Draft Chrome. Probably the best deal I ever got on a card. I probably paid about um, a fifth or a sixth of what it's worth now. Uh, and then the one card I got graded, you guys have seen, the uh, 2016 Topps Chrome Red Refractor 9.5. Now we're going to jump down here. Uh, Billy Hamilton, a 2012 Bowman Chrome Prospect Refractor Auto 9510. We've got a 2009 Bowman Chrome uh, Billy Hamilton Draft Picks and Prospects Gem Mint 10. Pretty sweet card. Uh, then we've got um, a card that I got at a card show, which is pretty awesome. Sorry about the glare there. Uh, that one is a 2014 Topps Triple Threads. Uh, number four out of nine, um, auto jersey relic. Uh, this is a new addition. Uh, something that my friends got for me at a Reds game. That's a nice baseball autograph by Scooter Jeanette. And then down on the bottom here, I know it's upside down. Uh, that's actually Adam Duvall. Uh, ironically, he got traded like a week after my friend got that ball for me. <laughs> Pretty crazy. I uh, decided to add my uh, Ken Griffey Jr. rookie to, uh, to the mix since I have the uh, dual bobblehead doll there that I got at a game. Uh, pretty sweet. I know it's the rookie card with the Mariners, but um, just an iconic card. I love to add it to my collection. My most recent pickup, uh, the uh, 2018 Topps Definitive Barry Larkin Auto Gold Label, number to 30. What a sweet card that is. And then right next to it, the uh, 1987 Donruss Rookie Gem 9.5 of Barry Larkin. We've got our uh, Joey Votto's uh, Cheerios uh, full box that came out, you know, I think it was about 2009 or 10. It was somewhere around the time of his All-Star game. And then a really cool um, jersey relic here of four... Uh, players from Topps Museum. Sorry for jumbling it a little bit there. We've got Votto, Duvall, Hamilton, Phillips. That's just an awesome card. That one, uh, it's, it's on the back, but it's numbered to 99. Bottom shelf here uh, is one of my favorite old-time players, Joe Morgan. We've got a 1976 Topps Mint 9, a um, Panini Century Collection. I've never heard of these cards, but a friend of mine bought that for me for my birthday a year or two ago. Just an awesome card, Joe Morgan Auto. Uh, we've got the uh, Joe Morgan ball and the kind of Hall of Fame little postcard there that I got given to me by Joe Morgan when I bought the uh, Honda CRV from him at his dealership, which is pretty sweet. Um, we've got a 79 Topps Joe Morgan Mint 9. I decided to get that because it was the, uh, my birth year. And then this really, really sweet uh, 2016 Significant Signatures Donruss. Uh, that's numbered to 15, 5 of 15. So pretty sweet. Down here I've showed you guys the case, so I'm not going to belabor it. Um, but it has all of my Topps Chrome Refractors, Joey Votto. And then we've got some other um, numbered cards. And uh, down the bottom it's all relics from 2016 and 2017. So pretty awesome 
Uh, down on the bottom here, I've got this program that a friend of mine got me at the Reds game. Um, he's like heavily involved down in Cincinnati, does a lot of networking and got invited to a suite. And they were giving out these 2018 yearbook magazines, which are awesome. Um, and then I've got my two sets here that I completed in the um, albums. That was the uh, 2017 Top Series 1. And then um, from this year, one of my favorite set is the uh, 2018 Tops Heritage. Really, really like uh, the design of this set. Just nice, clean look, white borders. And then I've got, actually, it's kind of funny, but I have actually have a blank baseball here just uh, waiting to get autographed. I'll probably go to Reds Fest this year. It's something in December where you can go kind of, it's at a convention center in Cincinnati and I got to find a place for it on my shelf because I'm pretty well um, stocked up on the shelves there. I did forget the um, cool Cincinnati Reds piece of artwork that my wife got me at a, a craft fair that was on the outskirts of Columbus. Uh, it's a really cool like stained glass case and it's got Christmas lights in it. So when you plug it in it kind of lights up and gets that um whitish glow so pretty sweet um but anyways uh gonna look to get the uh the baseball down there autographed probably by billy hamilton he's kind of the one i'd like to meet most uh just seems like a a laid-back guy really good base stealer although this year he's kind of lagging behind trey turner but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the collection um it's it's sorry for the little bit jumpiness of the uh, camera but I'm trying to just kind of do this on the fly. So I know it's not as extensive as like some of y'all's collections really impress me. But um, for where I am at this point in life and the fact that I just started getting back into the hobby about three years ago um, and the fact that it kind of demonstrates just a cool uh, variety of, of Reds players, I, I think it's pretty cool and comprehensive and, and I really like it. it and it works for me. And I'm sure my wife is probably glad that I didn't go out and spend a lot more money because I definitely could have bought a lot more cards. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you could, um, I don't mind putting out a, a plea for help to you guys. I guess I'll say I'm at about 189 subscribers right now trying to get to 200. So please uh, inform your friends. Um, would love to reach 200 within the next month and I'll be doing a special giveaway at that point. Um, I'll probably be coming out with a video in the next week or two with an announcement on that. So again, really have appreciated getting to know everybody in the community um, and would love to reach 200 subscribers. So anything you guys can do to help me, um, just spread the word and uh, ask people to kind of come check out my site. Uh, very much appreciated. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.